good morning guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me Susanna and welcome back to another video another new video and if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe on the road to 1k subscribers and um, i really really appreciate the growth you guys are supporting me and i really appreciate if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe do share the video do like comment and if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my content you're welcome anytime any minute anytime you want you're just welcome so guys today's video i'm actually going to be talking about um it is actually about uh i decided to do it this way like shit chat with me about in-laws living with in-laws okay i know some of you might be wondering why would i be talking this because guys i have been um, i haven't uploaded videos on my youtube channel for some some days now i know some of you might be wondering but that's what i'm going to talk today in this chit chat video so <coughs> some of you might be wondering why i haven't posted a video for videos for those days i think three or four days uh guys there's actually something going on in um in my house since uh last week in between me and my sister-in-law and um since she came here last year i actually accommodated her peacefully because uh my husband requested me whether she can bring her to stay with me because that time i was going to deliver i was about i was just remaining with a few months and um, my husband brought her she's actually a mother of three kids so for me that time i was staying in a single room and uh, i actually accommodated her by that time she was sleeping on a chair on a, a sitter um because we had no any other mattress we were just hustlers you know so to cut the story short we i stayed uh, we stayed with her for all that time it was actually the mid of last year if you can count all those months the mid of last year up to this year which month today we are on which month i did last month you know last month that's when uh she actually decided to i think and then that's when oh let me tell you all that all that time when she was with us she she was misbehaving you know i have i have actually have heard of her stories but you know sometimes they say you have to see some things real you have to see it with your two eyes like as africans we need to see things face to face with our two eyes sometimes we believe in rumors but not everybody believes in romance you know you, you just have to see it by yourself whether that person is bad person or is a good person or, or that person does some things wrong or he or she does good things so you need to prove it by yourself so that time i had a lot of her stories but then i was actually less concerned about it because i saw her like she's a good person like at the beginning I saw her like she's a good person that you can stay with her and you know she's not that like that bad in-laws but guess what when she started misbehaving you know someone that can just wake up in the morning she's angry alone she does not want to talk to people even greeting is a problem for her to greet just to say a good morning is a problem like for me i don't like passing somebody every morning i wake up and i i even 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 if i if i'm living alone in the house and then i go out there i will just feel like greeting anyone else that's when i will just feel okay i don't know whether it's only me but that's how i am and uh she started that way even if i come back from work or her, my husband comes back from work she cannot even say welcome or something like that she she cannot and we are the ones feeding her and her and her child you know she was just she started behaving so weird then 
we stay till of reason then you know us and us actually bad manners you know they say as a parents as a parent when you when you when the child is still young you have to bring up your child up with a good manners when the child does something wrong you have to correct the child tell the child don't do this next time it is bad if you do this i'll i'll beat you okay just to scare the child so that next time he or she cannot do that but for us she was not she was just leaving the child to do anything the child wants the child can mess everything in the house you know some things are off work you know for my husband for me when you come back from work the next day going to work you look for something you can't find it when you ask she gets hungry you know she will start like you guys does not like me in this house you guys hate me in this house you guys don't like my son then one day my husband beat the baby was telling them, the baby of three years you know beat the baby the baby i think poured something on the carpet then my husband was like why would you leave the baby to do this instead of correcting the baby so my husband had to beat the baby hey this woman became very angry she even rejected to eat food she said she's not going to eat your food even i regret coming to your house even i regret staying with you guys she started talking a lot of things blah 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 for us we just paid her at that fear and uh, we minded our business she continued doing bad things until of reason when she you know to be sincere i actually in this world let me tell you in this world if there are people to trust people who tell the truth it's actually small babies and uh drunkards get it clear small babes le let me tell you kids if that's the simple way kids and drunkards you know if you if you go anywhere in this world a drunkard will never keep this will keep the truth but nothing else okay so my husband that day i think um you know every time when you when 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 they are they, when they are together when i'm not with them you know for them they speak in that language and for me i i'm not that fluent in that language and but i just speak few few but then yeah the rest of it i don't actually understand but i can just speak few few okay so they speak in their language and when I'm not there, they gossip about me, you know. My husband is not that talkative person as you've ever seen him in any of the videos, but it's not that talkative person. You can talk to him and he will just keep quiet. He cannot even respond to you. If he responds to you, he will respond to you only once and he keeps quiet. Will just swallow all the words you're talking and then if he gets angry, will just walk away from you and goes to sleep. So every time when i'm not with them she tells my husband all about me you know things like that she tells my husband all about me so one day my husband was uh they had a birthday party of one of their friends uh, after work they went to the birthday so then um he came back home when when he was drunk anyway my his friends gave him alcohol so he drank alcohol and then he came back home when he was drunk so that was the time so then i was actually annoyed with him i was angry with him because he came when he was drunk so i decided i, I was actually shouting at him that day when he was drunk i was asking him why would you drink alcohol yet last time the doctors told us that alcohol is poisonous in the house to anyway like to anybody most especially when you have a small kid in the house nobody is supposed to be drinking alcohol so he said then he was telling me my friends forced me to drink alcohol and you know things like that so then after that i left him in the sitting room here and then i went to bed there and i told him you're not going to sleep with us because of that smell because that smell is too much for the kid you know blah blah things like that when you're so angry you know sometimes get out of your mind so he started telling me now you know for him he does not hide some things sometimes but sometimes he can keep something then he told me 
though, though you don't want me to come and sleep there, but then I'm going to sleep here. Well, I want you to know that my sister hates you so much. Like, she hates you and uh, with she does not like you at all. That thing actually annoyed me that day. I don't know how you guys feel, how you guys will, will, will react if you find out that your sister-in-law, the person you've been staying with, the person you provided job with, the person you ask you struggle to get a job you know and the person you've been supporting the person you've been staying with in one house you know sharing one plate sharing a bathroom sharing almost many things in the house taking out like the person you're born with in one home I don't know how you guys will feel that that person hates you. I don't know. Just, just let. That's what I said. Shit, chat with me. So get down to the comment section there and let's shit chat about this. How do you feel if you find out your sister-in-law hates you? Yeah. How do you feel? or your brother-in-law or your mother-in-law or you this you know for as for the as for the mothers for the parents like your mother-in-law your father-in-law it's actually understandable because even though you're not going to shout at them you're not going to fight them because already they are big people and they are no longer going to marry they are no longer going to you know do things like that but as a sister-in-law who anytime can get a man and marry like how is she going to feel i don't know you know what i think what i think sometimes like some people don't think two eyes before they throw th words out of their mouth because they don't know that the same road that person that the same road that that person you you're talking about that's the same road you're going to follow tomorrow okay because if i'm married now to your brother and then you shout at me anyhow we I will understand. I'll swallow that, you get. Though it is painful, but then I'll swallow that. But what about you tomorrow when you get married and then you find out that your your brothers in law, your sisters in laws hate you? What what exact what exactly are you going to think? Will you remember that the, I, <laughs> I actually I also hated my sister in law? Or will you think that is a curse your sister in law? put on you I don't know comment down below so he told me that that my sister hates you I told him wow you know this sister-in-law we are talking about when I struggled for her to get a job she even did not tell me thank you for getting her a job I swallowed that I said it's okay and then secondly, she brought her son to be staying with me because we we she when she got a job she rented a a, a single house in the, just in the same plot with us. For us, she's in a ground floor. Ground floor. For us, we are in a far, on a first floor. She every day brings her sons to stay with me. Her son to stay with me every morning when she goes to work because she goes to work around six and then she comes back around seven so i'm the one to stay with her son from that time until she comes back from work then she comes to pick the son and at the same time she hates me <laughs> actually guys i got confused that day i did not get sleep you know until the morning i told her when she brought her son go back to work and come back we talk she went to work and she came back and then i told her i want you to tell me the reason i asked her actually i want you to tell me one reason why you hate me and at the same time you bring your son for, to stay with me tell me the reason why you hate me she kept quiet actually of course she's guilty she kept quiet i, I told her i have respected you all along the time you came to stay with us i have respected you up to this time like someone mature but this is how you can pay me 
after all that this is how you can pay me that you hate me that you don't like me oh well <sighs> i kept you quiet because i already know that some that in-laws are those people that are never appreciating even if you do something good to them they never appreciate they will never or they keep on saying you're bad you're bad you're bad you're bad you're bad nothing good comes out of you though you do good things nothing i have actually tried for this lady and this is how she started to pay me now she has spreaded all the news to her brothers to uh every relative that i'm a bad person you know up to even sometimes you find my husband feels bad because um he, he's not talking with her with his sister actually feels bad he thinks now that um, i have separated them and um i have separated him from his family that's so he actually he hides that from me but for me i can see it i can feel him the way he is and um uh, yeah but to me i have not separated him from his family even though he goes to talk with them to, to talk with her i really that i really don't care i really don't care but for me now to things dealing with relatives and i mean in-laws i have cut it with me no sometime back when i was um before before i got my boyfriend i got my husband i used to think that staying with the in-laws i used to hear people saying that staying with the, with in-laws is something hard it's so stressful it's something you know so bad so bad so bad i will i will not allow to stay with in-laws i cannot allow them to come to my house but i, I used to think it's just people are lying like they're telling lies like it's not possible for the other person to hate the other person yet you're married to their family but now i have come to realize it it is reality and it is happening mm? it is happening it is reality so staying with in-laws with me they are really bad people they are bad people they are not people i'm not saying all of them but they are bad people so i don't know how you're thinking but that is what has been driving my mind crazy so to the extent i'm thinking of leaving this this area and just shift it to somewhere else because it's so stressing okay very stressing so i've been thinking of going somewhere to leave them here and even probably if i had a job i would have actually left even their brother and just go away because i don't like staying with people who hate you and they're so bad for me i hate i don't like that but anyways guys that's all for today's video if to me staying with bad in-laws no i don't like it i've seen the bad and the good so that's all for today's video i'll see you on my next video please do subscribe to the channel like comment bye bye